Hey guys, welcome back. Um, yes, this is the makeup that I had on in my tie-dye video, in my ColourPop tie-dye collab video. I'll link that down below if you're interested in watching it. Um, and yes, <laughs> it is the same day, and I changed my shirt. Thank you. I really like this makeup. I gotta do another video with the makeup on. So today, we are gonna do kind of a miscellaneous haul. I have a couple of subscription boxes. I've got uh, Laurel and Reed and the Fashion Sta box, which we have not seen in a couple of months. Some fun news about that. Um, I have my FabFitFun Memorial Day sale haul, and then I did a little bit of shopping at the Bath & Body Works at my annual sale. So, I'm going to show you what I got today. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the Bath and Body Work stuff. Um, as always, I'll have timestamps linked down below, and I will try to link as many of the products and like the subscription boxes and everything. Like you know me, I'm just I'm, the whole thing's my colors all jacked up. The whole thing is gonna be linked down below. I feel like one of those rich guys on a yacht. I like this shirt. I don't know why. Anyways, okay. Um, so Bath and Body Works, they're having their semi-annual sale. I decided to go. That was kind of a mistake. Um, I waited in line for an hour because of social distancing. They were only allowing a certain number of people in stores. It's a very stressful time for me. But I get why they did it. I'm happy that they did it. Um, I still managed to get my stuff. At the time, the semi-annual sale was not available online, which so made me think that it wasn't going to be available online. That was false. It was literally like the day after I went. They were like, no, it's online. And I was like, what? Why? Why? Okay, anyways, so, and my store, like, the Bath & Body Works store hours right now are really weird. They're all, like, closed, but for certain hours, and so, like, my store has been, like, adding days, so every time I would go check to see what days they were open, it would be changed. It's the weirdest thing. Okay, anyways, um, I went because I needed to get more candles. I needed to get more body wash. I got a couple of extra things, not a whole lot, though, so it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but I got shower gels. I got black raspberry vanilla and Endless Weekend. Endless Weekend I've used before. It's so good. It's such a good summer scent. Black Raspberry Vanilla. Oh, I have not used before, but it smells so good. So I got both of these, and then what else did I get? I got a Pear Berry. I have never smelled this before, but I don't know why I was so drawn to it. I think I got a couple of these. It's Anju Pear, Wild Berries, Apple Blossom, Golden Freesia, and Blonde Woods. Oh. I love Bath and Body Works scents, you guys. But, um, oh, coconut pineapple. If y'all know, I love them coconut scents. I picked up this one. This is one from the Aromatherapy line. This is the Sleep Body Wash and Foam Bath. I am a nighttime bather or shower or what have you, and I love this Aromatherapy line. So I picked this one up. Oh, and it smells so good. I also got uh, Country Apple because my husband likes the apple leaf scents. I got another black raspberry vanilla. Um, another pear berry, another endless weekend. I didn't realize that I had gotten two endless weekends, but I got another endless weekend. And then I got uh, pink cashmere, which this is pink jasmine petals, creamy sandalwood, white amber, and cashmere musk, which also smells so good. I also got this. This is another one from the aromatherapy line. This is balance, which is juniper and coriander. It smells so freaking good. Okay, so basically, I just went in and got a bunch of body washes. I got all of the ones. They didn't have a whole lot for like 75% off. Um, so I got doubles of like some of the ones that were 75% off, and then I got a bunch of 50% off ones. I tried to stick to 75% off because do I need any? No. But I got some. Um, and then I also picked up this. This is the um, Aromatherapy, the Balance body lotion. It's in a really nice glass jar. I don't know. It just looks so fancy sitting there. So I picked this up. I really like their aromatherapy line. I really do. I picked up a couple. I could have sworn. Oh, I think I did get three. I picked up a couple of these. These are those like the car fragrance refills. I picked up three of them. I picked up like the watermelon lemonade one. That one's in my car right now. And then I got coconut sandalwood and I got aloha kiwi passion fruit. I think I need to get another like visor clip but um, I really like these. These are what I use in my car instead of like those hanging things and these oh, like these legitimately work and they actually last a decent amount of time and I don't I, I like that it doesn't it, I, just, I don't feel like it's as much waste because they're so tiny I don't know that might just be me I don't know um oh and then I and then I got this uh this is the balance body scrub it's a clay body scrub from their aromatherapy line oh I don't want to open it 
I'm almost out of body scrubs uh, and I have not tried this one and I don't think I've ever tried a clay body scrub so I'm excited to give that a shot because that just sounded really interesting and then the rest of the stuff that I got was candles I got four candles I got the lemon mint leaf I actually have this one already oh, this is the one that I have in my kitchen right now I love it I love lemon and mint scents for the kitchen and when you combine those two oh it's just beautiful just beautiful I also picked up this one. This is Suntan. First of all, I love the packaging of this one. I think it's so pretty. And it literally smells like summer. It's sun-kissed citrus, orange blossoms, coconut husk, and essential oils. It just smells like, like sunscreen lotion, but better. It just smells like summer. I freaking love that smell. Like, ugh, I love that smell. Then I picked up a strawberry pound cake, which I was not planning to get, but it's a fresh strawberries, a golden shortcake, and whipped creams. And it just, first of all, it's pink. And that's what originally attracted me to it was the fact that it was pink, but it just smells so, so freaking good. Okay. And then the last one that I got is another one in like that really cute packaging. It's like yellow with blue leaves. And this is Midnight Blue Citrus, which is a juicy citrus, fresh spring water, and sweet mango. I really like citrus scents too. Oh, it's probably like my second favorite for kitchens. So I got this one. Oh my god. And I love like the candle itself is blue. I just love that. I feel like they're getting a lot classier with their candles. Maybe it's the opposite way around. I don't know. But I wanted a few more candles and I wanted a few more shower gels because I like to stock up. When they're on sale, they were on sale. Now I'm just like throwing everything back in the back. Those will be fun to put away. I did get a lot of body washes, didn't I? I was like in the store and I was like, I don't have enough. And I'm pretty sure um, I do. So I'm pretty happy with what I got. I actually spent a lot less than I thought that I was going to spend. Although I will say my store didn't have like a huge selection. I was hoping that they'd have a lot more um, and they didn't. So that could have been it too. But now let's let's talk about my FabFitFun Memorial Day sale haul. So they did their little Memorial Day sale, the same setup as with the edit sales. You put a bunch of shit in a cart. I have more stuff in a cart right now for some sale. I think it's the summer edit sale. They're doing so many damn sales. I don't know. But the products are so good. So this is what I picked up. There is one thing that's not included in this because it's being drop shipped, which means that they're shipping it out, um, like the company is shipping it out themselves separately. And that would be the Breezy Violife Portable Bladeless Fan 2-Pack. I got this for my kids because we live in Arizona and during the summertime it's hot as hell. So I figured that would be like a really good thing for them to have um, for the summertime. So I picked that up, that is not in here. But let's go through what is in here. The first thing is the Face Soft Love Your Towel Active Towel Charcoal Detox. So this is supposed to be, it's supposed to be activated charcoal technology that pulls toxins and oils off your face. I don't believe in toxins personally, um, but this is supposed to be really good for yoga and fitness. And I've been wanting, like I'm getting more into yoga now. Um, and this just, it seemed really interesting to me and I needed a yoga towel anyways. And this one, the description that they had for it on the website just really drew me in. So I went ahead and picked this little guy up. I'm not 100% sure why, but I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my choice to get this. You know what I mean? Um, and then I picked up a Saturday skin set. This is the Your Future Looks Bright. Uh, this has a $20 price tag on it. I paid $10, which I am okay with. And this has a couple products in it. <laughs> I love the packaging of this though. Like, can we just take a second? That holographness. It's gorgeous. So this has a little mini wide awake brightening eye cream. Oh, this is 0.51 fluid ounce though. So this might actually be a full size. I'm not 100% sure. But the eye cream, I've got the, like their moisturizer or whatever. And I have not tried the eye cream yet though. So what better time to try it? And then it also comes with two of the Cotton Cloud Probiotic um, Power Masks, which once again, that packaging. And we all know I'm a mask junkie. So 10 bucks for what ended up being, I really thought this was a travel size and I was okay with it then, but um, half of an ounce is a typical full size for an eye cream. And then two masks for $10. And I'm good with that. That seems like a stellar deal to me. Then I picked up the Christoph Robin Detangling Jelly with Sea Minerals. So this is for sensitive scalp and damaged lengths. Um, I cut my hair 
and I've actually been using the Christoph Robin like that scrub that scalp shampoo scrub thing and it has been working so well so I decided to pick this up um it says this is the essential second step for a complete detox ritual ideal after the cleansing purifying scrub that's what I've been using this jelly texture instantly detangles without weighing hair down um my hair gets tangled really easily because I've got like thick hair in some parts and then thin hair in some parts but I have a lot of hair and it gets tangled really easily so I wanted to go ahead and give this a shot because I do have a couple travel sizes of the scrub that I've been using and loving so I got this hopefully it works we'll have to see I don't know I have not tried it yet and I, this is not something that I've ever received a sample of before but I've been using the scrub and I've loved it so freaking much that I went ahead and got that they had a freebie if you spent like over a certain amount and it was something that I was it was an amount that I was already spending so I went ahead and got the freebie I don't quite know what I'm gonna do with it yet because we don't typically use things like this. Like I'm sure my husband or my friends or somebody will find a use for it. Um, but we got a set of a duo pair of the Odeem um, stemless silicone wine glasses. So they're literally just silicone wine glasses. They don't break, they're stemless, and they're pink, which I really like. Uh, but these were free with my purchase. Like I said, I don't remember exactly how much you had to spend to get these for free, but I was spending it anyways, so I went ahead and added these to my cart because even if my husband doesn't want them, my best friend will love these, and they're adorable, and I approve of them. <laughs> Okay, and then I picked up one of the Redial Dragon's Blood Cleansing Waters. I have a couple of products from this line. I have not tried the damn cleansing water. And I'm really attracted to this packaging. I don't know why. Like, it's so cute. I freaking love that. Um, but this is micellar water with hyaluronic acid and vitamin B3. I'm really into this. And you guys know I'm trying to find, like, really good micellar waters. My favorite one that I found so far has been, like, the Yes to Cotton, I think. Um, but I'm not super in love with that one. That's just the best one that I found so far that's cruelty free. So we'll have to see. Um, I also picked up this. Did I need it because I have other gym bags? Actually, yes, because most of my other gym bags are being used. But this one was really cute. Do I need a gym bag if I'm not going to the gym? Well, I need a place to store all my gym stuff. Now, don't I? I'm reaching, but you get my point, right? This is the Bando Work It Out Gym Bag in Potpourri. <gasps> I love it. It's like all bunched up right now, but do you see the design? It's pink with florals. I love it. So literally, genuinely, I got this because I needed a place to store all of our yoga mats and things like resistance bands and sports bras and things like that. And this was just so cute. I couldn't pass it up. So I picked up this one and that is my reasoning for that. Um, I really like it though. And it was a pretty good price. It was only $14, which I think was pretty good. I also, speaking of workout stuff, I picked up this. This is the Algae Essentials Warm Up Accelerator Cream made with organic hemp oil. So this is supposed to be good for yoga, running, CrossFit, Pilates, and boot camp. I have a lot of really sore muscles, and this is supposed to warm up muscles, prevent injuries, and maximize workouts, and help you recover faster. So hopefully this works. I've never tried one of these before. Um, I don't honestly know much about them, but... I figured I'd give it a shot because where else? I don't even know where you buy these at. Like, I really, I genuinely have no idea where you buy them at. Um, and then the last thing that I picked up was a Kopari coconut oil deodorant. I'm pretty sure I've used one of these before. I don't remember if I liked it or not. I really don't. I've been trying so many natural deodorants. My mind is just going absolutely crazy. But I picked up another one. I'm really hoping that I liked this. It's an original. I don't know. Oh, dear God. Anyways, that was what I ended up picking up from the Fat Fun Memorial Day sale. And then I also got those two portable fans, um, but those have not come yet. Now we are going to talk about the box by Fashionsta. Um, this is a monthly mystery box. It is $24.99 a month. And they also have a mystery box that is $40 a month. I subscribe to both. This is the only one that I've received, though. Here's the deal. This is the box from March. Um, they had some shipping issues. Oh, they talk about it right here. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. And they have the card with all the products on it. Um, so they paused the June box in March they had like issues with the warehouses and shipping and everything so they said hang tight they were very transparent about it they were like hang tight we'll get it out as soon as we can so they've paused the June box um, they want to come back in July with the best and most amazing products and faster shipping and service so you will not be charged for June all subscriptions will resume in July if you have prepaid months your subscription will be into the number of months you have prepaid you were not charged for your April or May box this was the March, now technically May goodies. So they basically took the box they had in March, sent it out for May. Um, I just 
got mine. But once again, I'm really happy with the transparency they have. I will say, I don't know where my mystery box is, so that I'm gonna have to email them out. But here we go. I did open this up. I don't know what products are in here, but I did take a look at the brands to make sure that they were all cruelty free, and they are. So let's take a look in here. I'm really excited. I really love this box. I really do. Um, so the first product in here is the Shivani Beauty Marvel Elixir, the Maracuja Infused Primer Oil. Now, Fashionsta does tend to lean more toward indie brands. <gasps> look at how beautiful. I'm actually really into this. Like, this just looks so luxurious. So you're supposed to shake it really well, and then you apply to face and neck day and night. You can use under makeup, mixed with makeup, or without makeup daily as a skincare regimen. Okay, so I really want to know, like, what this feels like. Ooh. It's pretty thick, actually. I don't know like what that smell is, but I'm actually kind of into this. And it says that this retails for $54, so... The bougie part of me is stoked uh, because I love trying really expensive skincare. The next thing we have in here is actually a palette from Glam Light. I don't think I have anything by Glam Light, but isn't Glam Light that company that does like those pizza palettes? Am I thinking about a different one? I'm pretty sure that's Glam Light. This is the Alondra Desi Eyeshadow Palette. This retails for $38. Ooh, it has a really nice like velvet feel to it. <gasps> This is a very familiar to me as far as shades. I feel like I've seen a lot of these shades before in like that last palette that they sent out, but look at this rose all day shade. I am here for that. Oh my goodness. This looks beautiful. I'm really liking this sunshine, this sunshine shade as well. That's actually a really nice matte yellow, which is pretty hard to do. So that's beautiful. I'm actually really stoked about that. I don't think I've used Glam Light before. Like I said, are these, is this the company that made those pizza palettes? I don't know, but this is absolutely stunning. Uh, I'm actually really stoked about that. So good job there. And then we have the Herbal Dynamics Beauty Clean and Calm Cucumber and Blue Lotus Micellar Water. We were just talking about micellar water. I'm really into micellar water. Um, I I think I have used this brand before. It's very simple packaging. I don't think I've used a micellar water from them though. Um, this retails for $16. I mean, it's micellar water, so it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but honestly, I'm really excited to get it in a box because I go through micellar waters relatively quickly. I use them every single day, so it's nice to have a bunch of them on hand. Then we have the Emily Alexander Cosmetics. This is the Coral Reef Water Resistant Matte Lipstick and Sunscreen. Okay, let us take a look here. Ooh, that's really beautiful packaging. There's like a little mermaid emblem on that. I love that. Do you see this? Do you see those little scales imprinted on that lipstick? Oh my God, I am here for that. I'm concerned about that color though. That's either gonna look really good on me or it's gonna look really bad. I'm not entirely sure which one. That is so freaking beautiful though. Like collector's piece i don't know i'm 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 really hoping that i can pull that off because that is so gorgeous i've been going back and forth on subscription boxes like this because i enjoy everything and i do use it all but do i need it all probably not um and i've been really wondering if it would be better for me to take my money and spend it on stuff that i know i like instead of continuously trying new stuff but then it really makes me happy to continuously try new stuff and i'm stuck in like this never-ending loop of like what do i want more what's more important to me i don't know Okay, next we have the Double Dare OMG Hand Sanitizer Gel. I'm actually really excited about this. This, is, this expires in 2023. This retails for $5.50. And um, I don't have travel hand sanitizer. I just did a video actually switching over my purse. And I had a couple of like hand sanitizer wipes in there. But I didn't have any travel hand sanitizer. My husband does. I don't. So this will be perfect because I don't think the video of my purse has been posted yet, by the way. I'm pretty sure this is going to go up before that one. Um, so it's coming. But this will be perfect because I can put this in my bag and then freaking have it. I actually really like this packaging too. Little hand, but it's like a pink hand. That's so cute. Oh, and it smells so much better than the hand sanitizer my husband has. I don't know what is wrong with the hand sanitizer that he has, but it smells just Oh my god, it's absolutely terrible. And this one smells really good, and I'm really excited about that. So thank you very much, Fashion Star, for giving us what we need right now. And then the last product in here is the Double Dare 
um, Jet Super Hydrating Mask Kit. This is a two-in-one soothing mask kit. So it has the soothing microfiber towelette and the super hydrating soothing mask. I love Double Dare Spa products. They make some of the best masks and I really like their duo masks. They're so good. So I'm really excited to have this. Um, all in all, that's a great box, I think. You've got some skincare, you've got primers, you've got micellar waters, you've got hand sanitizer and masks, and then a lipstick and an eyeshadow palette. And really, what more could you want from life? I don't know. I'm just, uh, I don't know. Like, I love this box and it does make me really happy, but like, would I have been happier if I spent the $25 on something that like I knew that I wanted? Or would I have been happier getting a bunch of really exciting stuff to try, but then also like, I'm a project panner, so I wanna make sure that like it doesn't go to waste. Do you know what I mean? Mm, I'm so torn. I really, I don't know. I keep like, that's one of my biggest issues with my subscription boxes because I really do love them, but it is so many new products every month. Like it's insane. I don't know. Last but not least, we're going to talk about the Laurel and Reed Natural Beauty Box. This is a cruelty-free and non-toxic beauty subscription. It's $49.95 a month, plus $6.95 shipping to the U.S. You get three or more full-size products each month with a minimum total value of $100. Um, this is the one that I originally picked out because I wanted some bougie-ass skincare. This is, I think, my most expensive subscription box. Like, unless you want to start, like, adding up the cost of, like, the various boxes that I get, and I'm trying to open it out. Um, and like the multiple Ipsy subscriptions that I have. I'm pretty sure that this is my most expensive single box, but I really like it. I think last month was my first month getting only three products. Normally they send four. Look at how beautiful it is. And it's just so bougie. I love it. Um, okay, so this box does have four products as well. Let us get started. I just... It makes me so happy, you know? But then, like, I could buy my own skincare. I don't know. I keep going back and forth. What do you guys think? Give me advice. Are the subscription boxes worth it if they make me happy, even though it, like, gives me more to pan and it's so many new products every month? But I really like trying new products. I just don't know. Okay. The first thing that we have in here is the Pure Soma. This is the Beyond the Body Rituals Resurrection Energizing Anti-Fatigue Bath Therapy. One bag is one bath treatment. That seems like a lot to me. Um, but this is supposed to unburden the body from the exhausting weight of environmental and emotional stress with this revitalizing and deeply invigorating bath. Um, this retails for $36. One of the things I really like about Laurel and Reed is that they list like just a ton of information about all the products. Like this is about four products. A ton of information about them all. So this is interesting to me though because there's a five steps to mind and body resurrection. You disconnect and put your devices on airplane mode. You hydrate throughout your experience by drinking plenty of water. You pour the entire contents of bag into a hot bath water, soak in tub for 20 to 30 minutes, and then sweat and rest under a blanket or robe as your body continues to detoxify through perspiration. So is this almost supposed to be like a sweat lodge type thing? I don't know, I'm kind of into this honestly. Like one bag for one bath treatment seems like a lot and this $36 for a bag. Um, but I'm actually kind of excited to try this out. And this is what I, I would never purchase something like this for myself, but I love being able to try out stuff like this. I'm actually really excited about that. Thank you. Okay, the next product we have is by Libido. This brand um, is very popular right now. I have gotten them in Ipsy and BoxyCharm last month. Luckily, they seem to be like a pretty good brand. This is the Age Away Hydrating Cream. This retails for $55. I pretty much have enough of their products to do like an entire skincare routine with them. Um, this isn't what I expected this to look like, honestly, but... Based on my moisturizer drawer, I really like moisturizers. I don't know what I expected this to smell like, but that's not it. Like, it smells good, but like, that is not what I pictured. Mm, I don't know. It feels really nice, though. It feels really great on the skin. I lost the cover. Um, it's covered in little squigglies now. But now it's no longer sanitary, and I don't want to put it back on my moisturizer. However, that looks really nice. I'm pretty excited about that, actually. I have a lot of moisturizers that I need to use up, and I keep getting subs uh, skincare subscription boxes. There's another one that I'm considering signing up for, and that's where my issue lies, because how am I going to use up all of this stuff? Next, we have the UpCircle Face Scrub. This is made with repurposed coffee grounds, and it is an herbal blend. Okay, this is formulated for oily or combination skin. I have combination skin, but, like, it doesn't seem to really... Like, as long as I use skincare, my skin seems to be okay. Um, first of all, I love this packaging. This is, like, the bougier packaging that I'm talking about. This is amazing. It's made from reformulated coffee scrubs. That kind of concerns me. This retails for $17.75. And I will say, I love... Oh, that's 
like sealed down. I'm gonna need something sharp to open that with. I, I love coffee scrubs, especially like coffee body scrubs. And I've never tried, um, I don't think, a face scrub. What is Okay, so this is a little squeezer. You put it over the tube and you can like roll it down. It's one of those little key ones. Um, hopefully I can reuse this actually because I've got a few tubes that would work really well on. Um, honestly, it's definitely odd to me made with repurposed coffee grounds, but I'm pretty stoked for it because I love coffee scrubs and I don't think I've ever used a coffee scrub specifically made for my face. So I'm into that. The last product in here is by a brand called Uni, which I have used them before. I actually really like them. This retails for $25, and it is the Gliding Light Illuminating Body Balm. Very cute packaging. I like that. And what is it? I'm just going to open it up. Oh, that smells good. Okay, so it's literally, I have a feeling that this would last you forever because it's very, very balmy and thick. Okay, so this is a, a beauty balm that adds a healthy glow as it restores dry spots, a dehydrated skin, legs, lips, and hair tips. The illuminating minerals leave skin glowing while the solid oil instantly melts into skin, deeply hydrating and minimizing imperfections. So you warm a small amount of it in your palms. I didn't do that. And apply it to skin, legs, and dry spots like heels and elbows. You can use it as a glow highlighter on shoulders, cheeks, or lips, and you can apply it to dry hair tips to nourish the ends. <gasps> I love multi-purpose products like that, honestly. This smells so good too. Okay, so I'm actually really excited about that because I love products that I can use for a variety of different things. And this is just right up my alley. It really is. So, um, this was actually a really good box. It was one of those boxes where like every time I pulled something out, I'd be like, okay, that's nice. And I wouldn't be like super excited about it. But then once I read about it, I was like, <gasps> yes. So, all in all, I think that's a winner. You know? Um, so that is my haul for today. I'm really, oh, I love this stuff. I really do. Like, Anyways, I kind of spent a good portion of the time rambling. Um, I just, I have so many thoughts going through my head, like, all the time, and it's very difficult for me to keep them all straight. And honestly, like, I love subscription boxes, and I love project panning, and I want a project pan, but I like having a larger makeup collection, but I want to make sure I'm using it all, but I really like subscription boxes and trying new things, and it's just... <gasps> And that's what I'm stuck with. So give me your thoughts down below. Uh, let me know if you subscribed to any of these boxes or if you shopped during the Bath and Body Works um, semi-annual sale because I would love to know. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button below me if you'd like to see more of me and my crazy rambling and my crazy hauls. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'll catch you next time. Bye.